Post Malone has released the official non-animated music video for his hit song, Wow. And trust me when I say it's definitely one that brings the wow factor in all sorts of fun ways. But between the music video and the lyrics, you may have missed some things. So be sure to like the video and subscribe to King Trending. Number 7. The Bearded Man Easily one of the coolest things about the WOW music video, which is why I'm starting off with it, is the reveal of the bearded man who is dancing quite passionately to the song. His name is Mike Allen Court, and his story is a timeless one, as he just wanted to dance to a song that he liked. You see, WOW released last year, and earlier this month the song made its way to Allen Court's ears, and so he decided he wanted to do a dance routine to it, which is exactly what he did. But then he went to a dance studio, and he made a video of him dancing to WOW, with his routine and dancing with some ladies from the studio. Naturally, this whole thing, given his older looks and his smooth moves, got him some global attention. After all, this is actually pretty cool. And after he went viral, Ellen DeGeneres herself got him to go onto her show and perform the dance routine. Yeah, look at you! So, 23 million people have seen this. Can you believe it? How about that? No, no, I can't. Uh Honestly, I just love dancing so much. Alan Cord had told Ellen DeGeneres earlier this week, I have such a good time in the video, and I think that's what people are connecting to. And apparently, 23 million people just wanted to have a good time with me for a minute. Then obviously, Post Malone heard about this and said, Hey Mike, it's Posty, he says. I like your moves, and I'd like to invite you to my show in Arizona this Sunday. It'd be fun to have you. And that's exactly what happened. You kick ass, and I, uh, I'd like to invite you out to my show in Arizona this Sunday. It'd be fun to have you on this rock and roll. He got not only to be in a show with Post Malone, but also be a part of the official music video to WOW. Personally, I think it's one of the coolest things ever, and we've seen various celebrities do really cool things for fans, and that's honestly one of the coolest things they can do. But this, yeah, this goes far and beyond. Because remember, he didn't just do the music video. He did the live show with Post Malone, and Post Malone didn't have to do all that. He didn't have to go and do any of this, in fact. He could have simply just seen the video and commented on it in regards of how epic it was, and what Mike was doing, and how much fun he was having. But instead, Post Malone decided to make Alan Court's life if not the year, by having him be part of a music video and the live show. Step out of the normal things that they're supposed to do and go out and do something really cool. And that's exactly what Post Malone did. So props to you, man. And Mike Allen Court, yeah, never stop dancing. Number six, the lifestyle of a rapper. Look at some of these cars. This is my uh, 92 Ford Explorer. It's bad, a little whip. When you're a hit singer, you're expected to do certain things and look a certain way, sing a certain way, and arguably, more importantly, act like you're rich and powerful. Post Malone is definitely a hit singer and he's definitely rich. His last estimated net worth was about $14 million. And he notes in WoW that sometimes people project what they expect from him in regards to what he owns. Said she tired of little money, need a big boy. Pull up 20 inch blades like I'm Lil Troy. Now it's everybody flock and need a decoy. If you're confused about that second line, it's about a special 1992 Ford Explorer that he bought for like $1,500 and then took it to the West Coast Customs in order to get it pimped down and it went from a $1,500 vehicle to a $75,000 vehicle. So yeah, big transformation. And yet, you could still argue that it's still not the standard of which Post Malone is supposed to have, but he doesn't care. As for that third line, this is knocking down how certain people in the world will try to latch on and leech off someone, someone who's popular like Post Malone, in order to get fame or fortune for themselves. Sadly, this is a big part of the music world, which is why Post Malone sings that he needs a decoy to distract them so that he can get away. Ironically though, Post Malone does have a large set of luxury cars, but he's saying here that he doesn't let the lifestyle of a rapper define him. What he gets, he gets for himself and his own interests, not to maintain a standard that he'll never want in the first place. And so speaking of which, number 5. Who do you want to be with? Right after that set of lines, Post Malone makes another dig at the lifestyle of a rapper, or musicians in regards to who he attracts with his beats and looks and money. G-Wagon, 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 G-Wagon. All the housewives pulling up, up, up. You see, in the world, we don't just expect certain celebrities to have a certain amount of luxury and style. We also expect them to, in varying degree obviously, to date someone who is just as famous as them. And if you look at the various couples in the world that are celebrities, a lot of them really do that. Kanye West and Kim Kardashian come to mind, and you can name many more. But what Post Post Malone here is saying is that he doesn't look towards the supermodels or the most beautiful girls in the world. Rather, he looks to people for who they are and what they do. Now, don't get the wrong idea. He's not actually looking for a literal housewife, meaning someone who's already married, but he's looking for someone who will take care of him and he can love without the baggage of fame, which is why many celebrity couples break up. And we can name a lot of those couples. Am I right? The point is, Post Malone is a guy who defies stereotypes in virtually every way imaginable. He doesn't want the standard things. He wants 
what he wants, whatever it may be. And regardless of what level the item or person is, he won't be bound to the stereotypes, which is fitting because Post Malone has been a student and singer of many genres of music, which proves that he can't be held back to one singular thing. Number four, touring the world. I didn't get Post Malone on the album, so I went and called Post Malone. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Got him. Heading back to the music video, you're going to see a lot of behind the scenes stuff. Stuff that was taken on a personal camera and not from a professional one. And that's actually quite accurate to what Post Malone is trying to convey here because one of the first quotes that are thrown into the video is about making time to do what you want or what you need to do. Because if you don't, you'll never find it. So here, as we see Post Malone touring the world and doing his celebrity thing, we also see him taking time to see his friends both personal and professional. You'll see cameos from various other singers and rappers including DJ Khaled, but it's the personal the moments that Post Malone wants you to pay attention here, like when he's playing beer pong with his friends or jamming out in the private session or all the traveling he does. He acknowledges that he has a busy life, but he knows he had to make time for things like friends and people close to him, or else he's just a robot doing his thing for a reason he's told to, right? That's actually part of the reason he brought the bearded man, Mike Allencourt, to the video, to shake things up a bit, to show appreciation and gratitude to a fan who clearly dug what Post Malone was putting down. Number three, knowing the score. And who they were as a person is always gonna be alive. And you know, that inspires me to be a better person and a better musician. Post Malone is a very laid back kind of guy, but that doesn't mean he's an idiot. Far from it even. He's proven to be quite savvy at times in regards to how he makes himself more unique, more fun, and gets more hit songs. But he also knows that there are many in the music world who don't like him. And not just now, but before he got his big break. And he sings about that with, you was talking sh beginning, mm-hmm. Back when I was feeling more forgiven, more forgiven. I know it pissed you off to see me winning, see me winning. See the igloo in my mouth when I be grinning, I be grinning, yeah. Here, he's noting that his haters always wish to see him fail, and so when he doesn't, and when he succeeds beyond their wildest expectations, he knows he's winning the game. It's a lot like a movie that gets condemned by critics, but when the regular people go and see the show, they adore it, and they blast the critics for biased writing. That kind of thing is going on here. And the obvious reason why Post Malone is so famous is that the people love his songs. They are simply fun, funky, and they all dig it. And that drives music experts crazy, because in their eyes, they shouldn't like Post Malone's music for one reason or another, but that doesn't really matter to Post Malone. All he cares about is what he's doing, and he knows that people will listen to his music or they won't. So he's not stressed out either way. Number two, he understands his career. I want to take this genre, you know, and stretch it so far that people who may not listen to it, listen to it. If you look at the career of Post Malone, you're going to see a lot of things that feel contradictory. He's been in a part of many bands and he's sang in a whole lot of different genres. Do you think that bouncing around from one music act to the other would be bad for a guy like him in terms of career aspirations? But instead it worked out very well. And that's exactly what makes him say, 100 bands in my pocket, it's on me. 100 deep when I roll like the army. Get more bottles, these bottles are lonely. It's a moment when I show up, I got him saying, wow, wow, wow. Hundred bands in my pocket, it's on me, on me. Yeah, your grandma probably know me, know me. Get more bottles, these bottles are lonely. It's a moment when I show up and I got him saying, wow, wow, wow. He's talking about how he used to be nothing in terms of a career, and now he's got enough $100 bills just to do about anything he wants, including more alcohol because the others are lonely. Post Malone is being appreciative and also stating how his friends are really impressed with how far he's come. And he's impressed too, but number one, he hasn't forgotten the haters. May uh, be considered a culture vulture. I don't think so. As I noted before, there are many who have criticized Post Malone for various things, including his looks and his music style, and how his career wouldn't amount to anything. And yet, here we are, and here he is, and he's got everything they said he wouldn't. And he hasn't forgotten that. Before I dropped the stony, none of y'all really cared, cared. Now they always say congratulations to the kid, kid. Congratulations is actually a reference to another Post Malone song, and it's one that is technically one of his biggest hits ever, and if not his best. So what he's saying here is that it led up to his 2016 album, Stony, which had little to no buzz from critics and others who didn't like it. And then it released, and the songs in the album exploded in popularity. And now he's one of the most popular singers of this generation. So Post Malone is saying that he doesn't want your fake congrats. He has all the appreciation and approval that he needs, and that's all he needs. So what did you think of our breakdown of Wow by Post Malone? Did you like what he did in both the song and the music video? What was your favorite part of either one or both? And let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on King Trending.
Hey, just a reminder that we're changing up the giveaways. From now on, we're offering the Galaxy Note 9, the one that comes with the exclusive Fortnite skin, the new iPhone X Max, which we'll pre-order for you, and the new Apple Watch Series 4, which we'll also pre-order for you. The winner gets to decide between these three. Make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, drop a like, and comment the hidden message in the video for a chance to win. You got nothing to lose. Go for it.